Welcome back to Live at Five. I am Bill Walichka, Derek Balduke. Every Tuesday, we like to talk the classic rock with Derek. What's going on, Derek? Big news, Bill. Lay Big on, news. Lay it on us. Led Zeppelin. When was the last time you heard a brand new Led Zeppelin song? I would have to think the box set. Yeah. Uh, back in the hey, hey, early, what can I do? early 2000s. I think that was the flip side to Immigrant Song. Well, listen to this. We actually have new Led Zeppelin music on the way. Now, is this live recordings? Because I know Jimmy Page has a vault of live stuff. Yep. Not released yet. Uh, this song is not live, but it will be part of the big collection that's coming out. What's happening with Led Zeppelin right now is uh, in the summer, they're remastering and reissuing all of their albums. So this summer, Led Zeppelin 1, 2, and 3 are coming out. And while Jimmy was going through all of the tapes, he discovered a song that he had completely forgot about. Studio stuff. Studio stuff. Now, I don't know if they really worked too hard on the title, because the title is simply La La. <laughs> L-A, L-A. La La. But you'll be able to hear this sometime this summer. That'll be the first installment of three reissue mini box sets that Zeppelin are putting out. And then they're putting out a complete box set of all of their albums remastered, reissued. And now with the first set, they will also come out with some live music as well, which is pretty cool. I think Zeppelin are really good at repackaging the past, almost as good as The Doors and The Rolling Stones. Only nine albums, but they seem to come out with something new every five years or so. This just announced there's a great press conference in L.A. Yeah. Uh, right around the earthquake yep. with <laughs> Kiss and Def Leppard. Funny story, too. They just had the earthquake in Los Angeles yesterday, and uh, they did the press conference. And the first thing that came out of Joe Elliott's mouth was, well, no, I don't think that was an earthquake. It might have been Gene Simmons' wallet falling out of his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good news, though, eh? Kiss and Def Leppard doing a full-on North American tour. Now, bad news, if you're a Canadian, there's only going to be one show. And that's in Toronto. Yeah. And that is going to be in August at the Amphitheater. Yeah, August the 12th, Molson Amphitheater. Now, whether you like Kiss or don't like them, you got to respect their stage show because it is so entertaining. I've only seen Kiss on video. I have never seen the spectacle live. Get out. I'm telling you the truth. You don't I, know where to look. That's what's going on it's with everywhere. Kiss. There's stuff going on over here, over here, up there, down there. It's going to be a sellout this tour for sure. Always. They're on this never-ending tour like Bob Dylan. It just It's the farewell tour that's lasted 25 years. Yeah, and next month uh, they're going into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as well, so they'll be Hall of Famers when you get to see them in August. Rolling Stones, uh, sad news in the world of Mick Jagger, the passing of his girlfriend, Lauren Scott. Yeah, she was young too, age is 47 years of age and committed suicide in her uh, hotel yesterday. Um, sad news, and um, there's a lot of depression out there. And you know, the best thing to do is when, when you are depressed, and I'm sure she had lots of support, talk to someone because uh, it is pretty de devastating. And I'm sure for Mick, um, a little devastating because Marianne Faithful tried to kill herself back in the 60s as well when she was dating uh, Mick Jagger. So mm. it might bring back some of those old thoughts and it's just it's just sad really sad when someone so young dies well they had to cancel some dates in australia they were in the middle of a tour but they've also added some dates yeah. at the end of this coming up tour that's right listen to this they're going to be playing rome's circus maximus on june the 22nd that would be the place way back in the day where they had the uh, roman chariot races mm. i don't think keith and mick will be uh racing around all that fast they probably regardless. were there during the races <laughs> actually i think they might have helped construct the place <laughs> you know what i love i love the quote someone once said to keith richards uh the end of the world is only going to be a cockroach and keith richards and he said well that cockroach better be careful because i'll eat it <laughs> awesome Okay, we'll see you next week there. Bill Walichka from Live at Five.